The manual hand crank on my Suncast hose reel broke off, and in this video, I found a low-cost solution to replace the broken crank. Hi, I'm Dave, and this is the Carve Tools Channel. In this video, I'll show you how I made a new hand crank, and you can too. I hope this will be helpful. Let's get started. Somehow, I managed to break the hand crank, and the cost of a new hose reel is around a hundred bucks, so I figured out a way to replace the old one. Looking around the garage, I found these three quarter inch PVC pipe fittings. I have a coupling, a short piece of pipe, a 90 degree elbow, and this PVC condensate trap will be perfect as a crank handle. We need some PVC primer and PVC cement. The three quarter inch coupling will fit over what is left of the broken hand crank. I've had this coupling for a while. It has a price tag of 19 cents on it. You can't buy anything now for 19 cents. In order to slide the coupling on as far as possible, I cut slots and this will help make a stronger connection. I make four marks across the end and will cut slots with the bandsaw. I inserted a pipe in the end to keep the fingers away from the blade while cutting. If you don't have a bandsaw, you can use a handsaw, maybe a hacksaw, a coping saw, or some other type of cutting tool. With these slots cut, the coupling will slide over the broken area. That fits okay and it feels pretty strong. I think I can fine tune it some more by cutting two more slots to make it fit more snugly. Let's try this with two additional slots. Great, this is a snug fit. This is going to make a good mechanical connection. I'm going to attach the coupling with a bolt. So I drill a pilot hole through the coupling and through the reel. Then I'm gonna use a larger bit so the bolt will fit in. Now I can't drill straight all the way through, so I'm going to hold the coupling in my hand and finish the larger hole. I place a flat washer on the bolt and screw it through the hole. I add a flat washer and a lock nut. I'm going to tighten these up with a wrench.
Here I remove the short PVC pipe. Here I'm going to make it permanent with PVC glue. Apply some PVC primer to the coupling and to the pipe. What primer does is penetrates the PVC and allows the adhesive to bond more easily to the fittings. I apply cement to both the coupling and the pipe. Then press it in and give it a little twist. I clean up the excess cement with a rag. Now I have a piece of plywood laid out on the ground to catch any drips of the cement. This condensate trap is a perfect shape for the crank handle to wind the reel. I will let the glue set for a few hours to make sure it has a good bond. Okay, here it is. This may look a little silly, but spending $100 for a new one, silly is okay for now. Oh, here's one more thing before I show you how good this crank handle works. I did this many years ago, so when pulling the hose from the reel, I needed a way to keep the reel from coming with it and pulling the short supply hose that leads to the faucet. I used a hook attached with a concrete anchor into the brick then I attached a piece of dog chain with an S hook so it can be easily unhitched and moved. And also there's an eye bolt mounted to the reel. Check this out as I pull the hose. The reel wants to go too, but the chain holds it back. Well, the bib faucet has a little leak here, so be sure to check out that video, how I repaired this leak. Now, reeling in the hose with a new crank handle gives more leverage than the old one because it's a little longer. All done. This is how I repaired my hose reel and made the new crank handle with some leftover PVC pipe fittings. If this video has inspired you to fix some sort of reel, I would love to hear about it. Leave a comment and tell about what you did and how much money you saved in the process. I hope this video was helpful, and if it was, please subscribe. I'm Dave, and this is the Carve Tools Channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.